guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back with our Mauler team, 37-34. We have 29,000 diamonds and this faction is almost complete, guys. We are waiting to see some awakened heroes. We have a lot of food in here. We need more heroes. We almost have everyone maxed out. Need a couple more to the nine of nine furniture, a couple more to the plus 30 signature items. On the Celestial front, we're starting to see a lot of the heroes finally getting ascended here. On the Hypogens, the exact same guys. We have Lucretia already completely built out. Then we do have our Dimensional Heroes as well to really round out the five teams that we need to push more progression in here. So just like we always do, we're going to start off with our summons. Been saving up a lot of scrolls. We have a ton of resources in here. 18 stones in total. Boom! Let's see if we get anything good. There is an unlock for Mara. We got Mishka in there. We got double copies of Thisu, which is nice. And we got Alero with Nemisu. Pretty good overall. We, we actually don't have these two maxed out yet. Um, Alero, we still need a couple more copies, which is pretty solid for the Maulers overall. So we can add a star right off the bat, which again is, is very nice to see, guys. Um, we did get Thisu all the way up to the plus 60 engraving, um, just like we've gotten a lot of these heroes built out. But we have an incredible amount of scrolls, guys. Out of the third anniversary events, we have 232 scrolls, which is going to give us a incredible amount of heroes. So again, we'll get right into it. I'd love to see some of the awakened heroes in here. Um, there, there's quite a few that I would like to see. Mishka, absolutely a big priority when it comes to our wilder heroes in there. And then it also looks like we have a few of our off factions. Um, I've gotten a ton of Stargazer cards. So Stargazer cards is the reason I'm building out all of the other factions. Now we're not building up to the point you know, that, that we're engraving them, that we're actually putting a lot more on signature items. We're just building them out to the basic to continue to make progression within the tower, which as a result, again, we have made an incredible amount of Stargazer cards. Another elite right there, which is a copy of Belinda. Just need a few more Maulers, guys, and we're gonna have to make more room in here because we have so many heroes. So let me make some more room in here. We can clean some of this out. All right, guys, so there we go. We made an incredible amount of room. I had so many heroes we needed to go ahead and put together. I got a ton up to Mythic Plus, which there is a copy of a star. So unfortunately, no, um, no Celestials and Hypogens out of there. Let's see what we can do th with these regular scrolls, guys. We need some more copies of Alna. Alna we are still building um, for the formations in here, which there is a copy of Pharrell. We need Alero. We need copies of Thisu. Um, a, a few more Maulers, again, to completely build in here, guys. Another Elite right there, which is a copy of Gwen. We might get shut out. We might get shut out to our Maulers. And a double right there, guys, which is Mishka. I just actually took Mishka, um, built her up a little bit. Again, pushing these faction towers nonstop, guys, to pick up the extra cards. Another elite right there, which is Aziz. So we did get the old school original Aziz. I believe I have him at Mythic Plus already. Another copy of Gorvo. So it'd be very cool to get him up to Ascended. Still used in a couple places in AFK Arena. Energy battery for absolute sure. Another elite right there, which is Oden. Again, the Maulers, guys. This is crazy. We, we might not even see any in here out of all the ones that we have in these lists. Another elite, which gives us a copy of Tresnar. Tresnar, we don't have many copies. And a double, guys, which is, well, we got a, we got a Mauler, even though we did get um, Maro right there. We got Golas as well. And there it is, guys. There is our Awakened card. Very cool. I, I wanted to see that one. So we did pick up the original Aziz and we picked up the new Aziz, which was very cool to see, guys. Again, that adds a couple more heroes in here. Even these all factions. And another big thing these are all used for, guys, is linking the dimensional heroes. So if we have a bunch of five-star heroes like Gorvo and Pharrell, I'm not only using them in the towers, but we can also go ahead and link them to bring those other heroes to five stars so we can actually continue to build all of those heroes up. So we got two more pulls right here. One in our final one. Could it be an elite? It is. We got an elite, which is Tresnar again, guys. So overall, not the best pulls for the faction we were looking for, 
Um, I'm going to drop Pippa in here. Let's drop Pharrell out. Um, I'm going to put Hodgkin in here. Hodgkin's a pretty good buffer. Two cards on the table, guys. Looking for our Maulers. First one gives us Kasos. Not sure if he is going to be the one that is going to get awakened. And we have Nemissu right there, still carrying the entire faction for the Maulers on his back. All right, guys, 98 cards, still looking for Alna. We have her, I believe, at Legendary at this point. First pull gives us a copy of Alna. Very nice. We got some amazing, amazing rates last time we did our Stargazer. So I'm hoping it is going to be the same now. So we've seen one copy of Alna, which I believe would take it Legendary Plus because we already had one other. And there's our second copy, guys. Two more pulls here. I would love to see the diamonds as well. It's been an incredible amount of time since we have seen those 30,000 diamonds. Got a Graveborn card right there. We need one or two more copies. One or two more copies of Alna. So there we go, guys. There's one more copy. And the final one, just some resources. Temple of Time, guys. We are saving these for faction-specific heroes. 319 cards as of right now. So we still do have an incredible amount of time um, before we're going to get a Mauler hero. I think Mauler might be the last faction. But there we go, guys. So that takes up Alna to Mythic meaning that we are unlocking that signature item. Such a very, very cool, strong hero. So looking here, guys, we do have some furniture summons as well. We are sitting on 36,000. That is right, guys, 36,000. We have um, Leonardo in here. We also do have the Prince of Persia. And then Alna we are building up as well as Zolrath. So we need some furniture for um, Alero. Alero needs a couple pieces in here. First piece goes out to Zolrath. And I'm going to save the cards in here. Um, the big reason for that, guys, is when we get the Awakened Hero, if we can get them built, I want to be able to just throw the furniture on there and take them right to the 9 of 9 furniture um, with the Awakened Hero. So we're going to sit on and bank the 9 of 9 furniture. There's another piece for Prince of Persia, which we're definitely going to have to link those heroes together so we can continue to build those up. There's a piece for Alna again couple more copies guys and she will be built in here super excited to have her furniture so we got four cards on the table already go ahead we'll equip this and again no love for the maulers today guys the maulers absolutely got no love so in here we do have leonardo so out of we have pharrell in here now and then we also did pick up our copy of gorbo so we'll go ahead and unlock that signature item in there. These heroes we are going to absolutely, um, we have to start utilizing, guys. There are a lot of heroes in here. I wonder if we got a key? Nope, we do not. Um, starting out with the five teams, we, we have to figure out exactly what formations are going to work in here with running all of the maulers. Um, it, it really makes a big difference on how they're going to perform in here. So we'll go ahead and we'll unlock both, both of the rooms. We use a couple of our diamonds, and we also do have Baden in there. But Leonardo, we have a lot of furniture in there for him. So we'll unlock those rooms, and I think this is full. I think this one is actually full. So he will go actually to the top, optimized, and he doesn't have any furniture yet, but that's okay, guys. So managing, as we know, we break them out by faction. Look at all of, all of our heroes right here, guys. There we go. I think we have one more I've seen up here. We have Wukong. We can drop right down here with our Taylene. Taylene, of course, a very, very early build. Um, we actually built Taylene. She was one of the very first uh, Celestial Heroes that we did build. So in here, we're going to do the same. We'll add Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia, we know we do have some furniture on, which means that we can go ahead and add him, build him up, put him in formations. Do have to build up that signature item on him as well, but that does give us a one of nine with Prince of Persia. But overall, guys, the Oak Inn getting a little bit more love. Again, we have those four cards on the table. Um, Arthur is almost done, which we could drop him out. Zolrath, we have a few. Alna, we have a few. Then we have our two newest dimensional heroes as well. we'll go ahead and do our recycle. Might give us enough, just shy of a pull right there. So looking here, guys, we have most of these heroes all up to a plus 30 signature item. We are still missing Warwick and we're missing Kasos, which I think we have quite a few in here. 
you know what? We're going to take Kasos. Look at that life leech going up. Attack and defense for him, guys. There we go. Plus 30 signature item on him. And then we also do have Warwick. We're going to build him up. We need 300 red chests on this one, guys. And there he is. That gives us, I think, everybody. First row, all plus 30, plus 30, plus 30, plus 30. We got to wait. We, we got to wait to build out some other heroes, guys. Um, one, two, three. We have three for, three um, heroes that still need furniture, and that is it. Three more with furniture, and both of them have three of nine. And then we have one. Alero doesn't have any, guys. That will do it for the Maulers. Incredible. Incredible to see them built out to where they are, guys. So 37-34. Um, I'm going to level up some signature items in here. I'm going to go ahead and make some progression in here. We're going to turn on the auto. Let the teams run um, within here. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.